What you doing out there, Jamie? Playing with a new camera? What is up, ice fishing freaks? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Pretty excited for today. We are on a different lake. We have not been to this lake yet on the ice this year. Was here a lot this year, bass fishing and walleye fishing, but I have not ice fished this lake yet this year. And honestly, I don't remember if I've ever ice fished this lake. Maybe years and years ago when I was a little kid. When I was a kid, not really a little kid, because I was never really little. Anyways, folks, Jamie's out here. There's a bunch of other people out here. Jamie's catching some nice gills. I, so yeah, got some uh, some walleye minnows, so we're gonna put some of them out. Maybe we'll get lucky and catch a walleye or a, a Larry, something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna get the sled and I'm gonna get trucking. Stay tuned and see if we can go catch some fish. I'm gonna pull you, pull you for a ride. <laughs> Why? Well, the fucking flag went out twice. Yeah? Uh, I go to get it once and I got my slender spoon hooked on my fucking rag, drugged the pole out of the Oh, jeez. Then I come back in and I got it wrapped around my boot. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I was ho actually hoping this is where you're going to be because I've caught a lot of walleye this year right in here. Yeah. Yep. There's an old road bed that goes across yeah. right out here. Me and Wells whacked them. Yeah, over not too far away from your auger and that. Yeah. Yep. And then right in here, this big flat here, yeah, I've caught a lot of them on jerkbait this year. Walleye and bass, it's cool because you'll catch one of each and then you, you know what I mean? Sure. Alright folks, so I'm kind of on this weed bed, kind of weed bed road bed right here. And I've got about six and a half feet of water. So I'm going to take this big old shiner here. And I'm going to hopefully catch a pike. A big pike. Bass, whatever. <laughs> Big old shiner. All right. Big fish tip up is set up. Now I'm gonna go over there and set up one for for uh, walleye or or big panfish. that close to the bottom a little bit. There's a fish down there right now. Don't know if it's one that'll eat that or not, but all right, I'm gonna go set up over here and start doing some jigging. All right, well, just cause it's tied on, I'm gonna try this first. A little frostbite cotton candy jig. A little waxy. On, of course, the old tickle stick. Here comes some fish. They're racing up. Let's see if they'll bite. There we go. Pretty little first fish of the day. A little baby. What's that? No, it's really little. Was basically right on the bottom. I I had it pretty much sitting on the bottom, just dead sticking. There's a 
Here's another one. Feels a little bigger. Oh yeah, that's a neater. Oh, oh, he got off at the hole. Frickin' Vexlar. <laughs> huh? A nice bluegill? I just had a dandy of a bite, and I'm, I just <laughs> sat there and looked at it. <laughs> I said I just had a huge hit, and I just sat there and looked at it. <laughs> oh. There's only three inches ice here, Jamie. There's only three inches ice here. I don't care. It's holding me, but. Oh, you're going to measure it? Prove yep. me wrong? Yep. Five inches. A big wiener like yours, probably three inches, probably looks small. <laughs> I've had enough of the ice discussion. Huh? <laughs> I've had enough of the ice discussion. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bigger one. You grab that Vexlar out. There we go. That's a Sammy. That's a Sammy. Sammy. Not a huge one, but I think he's going to eat. Hey, report the storm. There we go. Feels like a better one. Oh, yeah, that's a dandy there. Borderline dinner plate. There we go. That's more what we're looking for right there. That is a beautiful, beautiful bluegill. You betcha. He'll eat good. There we go. Oh, another big one. You betcha. It's a dandy there too. Oh, you bet. Oh, that's a little one. He's going back. Holy Nancy Pizzoli, look at the size of that one. <laughs> I already threw him back. Waxy. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a dandy. Yeah. Nice one. That's probably my biggest one. <laughs> Peanut, butter. Peanut butter. Did you see that one in my story? <laughs> that was a little bigger. <laughs> yeah. All right. See if we can get some more. The bite's getting a little better. It's like they they bite it when you move it now. Not just dead sticking. There we go. Huh? Got one. Not a giant. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
It's a dandy right there. Oh, giant. Oh, perch. Why you do that shit? <laughs> Little baby perch. There we go. That's another Sammy. Not a bad one at all. <laughs> These bluegills here got a lot of purple in them. Whatever. Whatever, Jamie. So here's the deal, folks. We're set up here on the lake. There's an old road bed that goes through here, goes all the way across the lake, and on one side of it's really deep, like 20, 30 feet. And then on this side of the road bed, it starts getting shallow and there's a big weed bed here. And uh, that's where we're set up. It's a great ambush point for walleyes. And Jamie's got this underwater camera and he put it down and there's walleye, there's bass, there's bluegills. There's everything sneaking around through here. So we're going to show a little footage of the underwater camera. We're going to get it set up here. I'm going to put the camera on it, see if we can see some of these fish swimming around, show you what we're working with, see if we can keep, keep catching some of these fish. These bluegills are pretty decent that we're getting here. Every now and then you catch a little small one, um, or I do, using that little tiny little tungsten jig, that little three millimeter frostbite. You all know I really love frostbite jigs. They are legit. So Jamie's kind of got a little... Frostbite. I have frostbite fingers. Do you? <laughs> so what do we got here? A little Markham Recon? Got to edit that. little Markham Recon 5. All right, so I think we got the camera in the perfect position right now. There's a little glare out, so we got the underwater camera screen and then my camcorder on it right there underneath Jamie's coat. Hoping that that'll pick it up. Jamie's headed in with his $300 coat. <laughs> There's a lot of money sitting in that pile, Jamie. Yeah, <laughs> There's one down there. I don't hope he's on camera there. Ooh, there's a good bite. There we go. There we go. Tuna. Oh, I hope he got on the camera. You bet. That's what I'm talking about right there. Nice chunky bluegills. <laughs> You bet. You betcha. Oh yeah. There's one. <clears throat> Little guy. I think I lost him. Yeah, I lost him.
Oop, we got a fish on. What do we got? Nice gill. Woo! You there, Steve? I got, hold on, I, I dropped my phone in the snow. I gotta clean it off. And my fish just went back in the ice and hole. Hold on. <sighs> Nothing like $1,300 phone. <sighs> God damn it. My uh, charging port's all plugged up with snow. I gotta let you go. I'll call you back. God damn it. Um. There we go. You betcha. That's a stud there. There we go. That's a dandy. You bet. Another solid one. Another solid one. Same, about six. There we go. You betcha. <laughs> you freaking betcha. Oh boy. The size of that sucker. That's a decent one there. That too, you know. There's a nice one. About time. Kind of went on a stalemate there for a while. Try to get that on the <laughs> There's a good one, I think. Oh yeah. You betcha. Holy cows. Huh? I said holy cows. There we go. Oh yeah. It's dandy. Not as big as some of the ones we've caught today, but fairly decent one. Well folks, that's a wrap. I'm gonna head back to the city now. Not too bad of a day out here, actually pretty good. Uh, I'm going home with like 17 nice bluegills. What are you laughing about? <laughs> huh? So the key for today was we were fishing this shallow flat and uh, this is a big weed bed. And I was using a really, really small tungsten jig, that little three millimeter by Frostbite with a wax worm on it was key for me. Jamie was catching them on a slender spoon, but for me that worked really well. And another key was keeping that hook from being exposed. Anytime the hook was exposed, I wasn't getting bit. Cover that hook up and they'd come in and slam it. Nothing on the tip ups today. Pretty upset about that. I've been really sucking with tip ups this year. But tomorrow we're planning on changing that because me and Jamie are going to do day two, possibly out here. And we might hit up some other spots, hit up some brush piles that we know about and uh, see if we can get some more bluegills and maybe run into a school of crappie. That would be pretty cool. Otherwise, we might hit up a different lake and try for some big pike on a smaller lake somewhere else. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that now. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. Destroy that thumbs up button. Luke Reeser signing off. Always remember, you're never too fat to fish. <laughs> <laughs>